Back. It's almost summertime and believe me, we felt it last week. It feels like it and with it comes many seasons, fruit seasons here in Arkansas. Now farmers will be busier than ever as they harvest their product. But could you imagine if those picking the fruit were made of wires and silicone? Bill 5 News reporter Jose Carranza spoke with scientists researching the possibilities of a blackberry picking robot. I didn't grow up on a farm, um, but I did play outside a lot. In 2020, students Anthony Gunderman and Andrea L. Myers spent time in Arkansas picking blackberries, but all in the name of science. And it was funny to be out there with all the wires on picking those, like, you know, with sensors on my hand. And we were in the middle of COVID, so I had a mask on, all that. I was like, I'm just a fruit ninja. We harvested over 2,000 blackberries using these flexible force sensors that we placed on the fingertips. The University of Arkansas system are really responsible for a lot of the blackberry cultivars that are being released in the world. It's millions and millions of dollars every year that we, the U of A system receives for blackberry plant patents. Renee Threlfall is a research scientist at the University of Arkansas, and while the natural state is a leading blackberry breeder, picking the fruit is the same for everyone. It has a bigger industry and bigger challenges because you have to pick the berries individually, put them in a clamshell, and then sell them in the store. For fresh market, no other option. Like you have a human person that harvested the berries, gently puts them in the clamshell, and then it's sold commercially. That's why food scientists and engineers in Georgia and Arkansas are working together to make a blackberry picking robot for a season that typically lasts only two and a half months, June, July, and August. Since it's in a short period of time, you have to get all the berries that you can before they go bad. That's why it's important to have a automated picker because there's just not enough workforce out there to get all the blackberries when they're ripe. And while some might be concerned, this could be taking jobs those in the industry say there's more than enough to go around. Particularly in horticultural produce, tomatoes, squash, grape and wine industry, we all have issues with finding labor at the time we need them because we don't need labor all year long. So we try to deploy some uh, grasping mechanisms that can enable some safe interaction between the robot hardware and also the, some fragile object. UHN is a biomedical engineer working on what would be a soft touch robot. Yes, that's right, medical technology picking cane berries. And although the biped 10 armed autonomous robot could cost 20 to $30,000, it would be solving a labor shortage issue and providing an efficient harvest. So your ideal picking time would be actually at night. You could have an automated machine that's picking at night, which is very hard for a human to do, or early in the morning. Some of the, the temperatures of the environment do impact the quality of the fruit in post-harvest storage. It's eight hours a day for in, in 10 months, I think you were supposed to be able to recoup your your cost if you could use it continuously. Um, so you'd have to like find a way to harvest multiple farms over and over again, right? Um, mm. It'd take a couple summers to, to get your money back, but I, I think it actually is potentially feasible. Covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. Jose, thank you so much. Well, researchers say there could be potential cost-saving measures made for the final product. Now, they are continuing the research with a four-year grant recently approved for biomedical engineer Chin. They'll also be continuing work at Ritter Farms in Jasonia, Arkansas, and they'll evaluate versions of the robot with a variety of parts.